Craft here. Today I'm excited because I've got two new products that I want to show to you that I'm manufacturing right here at Woosley Summer Craft Studios. Um, replacing some products that I used to stock at Woosley Summer Craft Limited um, that I still have but I'm kind of not going to be soon. So this is the first one. It's uh, Canadian made Superior Grit Original and Canadian made Superior Grit micro fine so basically they look very similar to other products that are out there on the market that are abrasive pastes for wood turners and flat woodworkers alike and this is the other one the micro fine so today I'm going to be using these on a piece of cherry that I've got here and I'm going to be making a bud vase now this cherry I cut down I believe it was about three years ago I Think. and I'm uh, going to be turning a bit of a bud vase with that and using these to finish it. Looking forward to showing off this product. Something I do want to show you as well is give a shout out to Eric Hill. They sent me this to, uh, to check out. It is a moisture meter. It's a very well priced moisture meter. It looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, now there's a bunch of different moisture meters on the market, but this is just one, one option. Uh, this is the Wood Moisture Meter EWM01. It's got its own little cardboard case, and inside it comes with two AA batteries, the moisture meter itself, and some instructions, because it's not just for wood, it can be used for many things. The, the instructions kind of tell you, uh, gives you an idea, a ballpark of what the moisture contents should be on different products like cement, mortar, basement walls and all kinds of different things. So I'm just going to take these batteries out if I can get them out. Because I'm not 100% sure of the moisture actually content, the content of this wood. Um, so let's just check this out. So first thing I'm going to do, there's a cap on this end with two prongs. Now the two prongs obviously you stick into the wood or whatever you're testing the moisture with. The cap pops on there nicely and the other end unscrews and the batteries go right in, right in the end there. I'm assuming they go in this way plus end. I put the plus end in, I believe that's probably right. Yeah, I think it is. Put the cap on. Now, it's got a digital display, power on, and there's a couple of other buttons there which I'm not familiar with right now, but I've got to read the instructions. But uh, let's just turn it on. Turn it on, the, the display lights up, so even if you're in the dark, you can see what you're doing. So, I'm going to take the cap off. We'll come in and take a look at this cherry, see where we're at. Right, so I'm going to stick this into the wood right here. I'm basically getting no readings at all. Now it's on M1, so it has settings, the instructions, I had a quick look at them earlier, let's just turn that off for a minute, it has a 10 minute auto shut off as well, so it will shut itself off after 10 minutes, comes with a bit of an instruction manual, it's in different languages, now here it shows you the different materials. Material 1, which is what it was on, M1, includes beech, spruce, larch, birch, cherry and walnut. Now that is walnut. Uh, sorry, that is, <laughs> this is cherry, so that's M1 is the correct setting. Accuracy is plus or minus 2%, so that's really good. That's 2% is, is not a significant amount, so that's good. So let's just do this again. And I'm going to get a wet piece of wood too, and we're going to try that. So we'll turn it on. Now, if I press M, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, one. So that the M numbers are for different materials, and it d explains that in that little booklet. And M1 is correct for what we're doing. So again, when I touch that to the wood, I don't get any reading at all, so I'm assuming that's good. Now when I w lick my finger and touch it, I'm getting 33. So it should read, it will read moisture in wood for sure. Okay, let's get a wet piece of wood and try that. This is a piece of Manitoba maple that I turned, I rough turned it a few weeks ago and it's been in a bag. Yeah, it's going a bit moldy, but I've been spraying it with alcohol to kill that mold. And I know for a fact that it's not dry, it's wet for sure. But how wet is it? I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll check it now. The readout is saying about 34% moisture. That's in that spot. Let's try down here. Yeah, about 32, about 32% moisture inside. Again, about 30, 30% moisture on the bottom. And the outside is, again, about 20, 23% moisture. So that's good. That's a great tool to have in a workshop. So yeah, this is a great tool to have in a workshop. You saw that that rough dealt bowl that I turned was about between 30 and 34% moisture content. That's too wet to finish without it warping or potentially cracking, depending on how you turn that. This piece of cherry here is dry. I got no reading on that at all, which is great. Now, as I turn it away, maybe there's some moisture further inside the wood. I can check it again as I'm turning it, but uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, this piece of wood right here, I'm going to check it as well. This is a piece of Gaboon Ebony from uh, Lake Volta in Africa. I believe it's in Africa. Am I right? I'm not sure. I think it's Africa. Anyway, it's uh, it was from trees. It was harvested from dead trees that were standing in this lake from the 1960s when this area was flooded. Uh, with a dam specifically and they created this lake, Lake Volta. So I'm not sure what the moisture content is of this wood. I'm hoping it's dry. It's wax sealed. There's no cracks or anything in it. But maybe underneath that wax there is some moisture. I do not know. So let's find out. So I'm digging through the wax into the wood. I got no reading there. Let's just check that M1 is the correct setting. Now it's not going to give me Gaboon Ebony, but it's definitely a hardwood. So we can actually try M2 is Oak, Pine, Maple, Ash, Douglas fir, Eucalyptus. So it looks like wood essentially would be Material 1 and Material 2. So this list gives you uh, Material 1 through 6 or through 7. Material 1 and 2 are the only two that you need for wood. Material 1 being beech, spruce, larch, birch, cherry and walnut, relatively soft woods. Material 2 being oak, pine, which is soft but I don't know. Maple, ash, Douglas fir and eucalyptus. So I'm thinking material 2 is the slightly harder woods. Material 1 being the slightly softer woods. So you could try it on M1 and M2. I'm going to try it on M2. M1 revealed zero moisture. M2, the same thing. I still got, I still got no moisture coming in there on this. So that's good to turn. I know that now for a fact. Um, if you're buying wood online, you don't always know what the moisture content is until you turn it. But if you get yourself one of these from Eric Hill, moisture meter. Looks like a pretty good deal. Price is pretty good. Currently it's around 20 bucks US, I believe. Check out their website. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below where you can get yourself one. Now they sent this out to me. Thank you very much, appreciate it. So uh, 
I will definitely be using that in the future.